Okay, welcome back guys. Now in this video, we are going to understand how our Hello World application works, that is the flow of execution, and also learn about components. Now, uh, two files are going to be of concern for us in this video, that is the app.component.ts, which is our component file, and the main.ts. Now let's start with app.component.ts. Now if you recollect from the architecture video, I mentioned that a component is nothing but a class plus some metadata. So this right here is our class and the name of the class is app component. And the metadata here is the selector and a template which is indicated by a component decorator. Now a decorator is a feature of TypeScript and this is going to attach this metadata to the class underneath it. So if you specify a class with a component decorator right above it, then these two are bound to each other. Now, within our decorator, we, I mean, within our, uh, for the metadata, we specify two properties, a selector and a template. Now, a selector is nothing but the HTML tag that you're going to be using in order to have this component in your HTML tag. And this template is nothing but the HTML that has to go in between your selected tags. So if you go to index.html, we have the my app tag over here, which is of course not a default HTML tag. This is a custom tag, nothing but the selector for our component and between these two tags, we are going to be replacing it with hello world. So going back to app.component.ts, we also initially need to specify that we are importing uh, the class, uh, the component class from Angular core module. So just to recollect, sorry, to uh, put it in your mind once again, a class with some metadata is called a component and to use the component, we have to import the component class from Angular core module, have it as a decorator, and then specify a selector, which is nothing but the tag, which, we, uh, which is going to be used as a tag, and then the template, which is going to be the HTML content. Then we have the main.ts. Now, if you have, uh, okay, so the main.ts is going to bootstrap our app component. So what is bootstrap? Bootstrap meaning to say it is going to start our app component or have it ready for you. Now, how does it do that? It is going to import the bootstrap function from one of Angular's uh, modules once again, and then it is going to import our app component class or the app component here. So this class name is going to import it from our current folder. So a dot and a slash means the current folder. We have a file called app.component.ts is what we are working with, but it is actually going to be importing the JS file. So uh, let's, let, me, let me go back to this. Yeah. So we import the bootstrap function, we import the app component, and then we just bootstrap the app component so that we have it ready for use when required. Now, if you also, yeah, that's pretty much it, the two files I wanted to discuss. So let us see how the flow of execution works to in order to display the hello world. Now in index.html, in our script tag over here, we say system.import app. So it is configuration. So it goes to system.js.config. If we see here, it says for app, our main file is main.js. So it goes to main.js, but we are going to be reading main.ts. So it is going to bootstrap our app component. So we have our app component, which is going to be ready uh, to use. Now, when we go back to our index.html, the flow of execution comes within the body tag, and now it encounters the my app HTML tag. Now this my app, it recognizes that it is nothing but a selector for our component and it is going to replace it with hello world. So there you go, hello world is displayed. Now, um, two things I need to mention. 
The first one is in our main.ts, if you have a look, we don't specify the extension. And it is JavaScript by default because in our system.js config, we say that the default extension is JS. The second thing I want to specify is about, talk about is this loading right here. Now this loading is going to be displayed in two cases. The first one is when the app component is actually getting loaded, which we saw in the previous video. Or in the second scenario is when there is some error within our app component and it is unable to load the app component. It is going to just display loading dot dot dot. So that's pretty much it. How a basic, very basic Angular application works and what a component is. And also one last thing, if you have a component called app component, we usually have the convention to name the file as app.component with a TypeScript extension, of course. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you understood what a component is as well. This is the most basic of them all. And in the next video, let us create a very first component and understand more about components in detail. So just a last bit of the video. So hello world from Chotmon. If you save it, I'm just going to save it. I'm not even going to refresh the browser. It is going to do it automatically and display hello world from Jotmon. So I'm going to wind it up here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.